welcome to our channel. Buhari asked to suspend Nigerian constitution and declare martial law. The Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, has asked Buhari to suspend Nigeria's constitution and start to govern by martial law. In an eight-page secret memo dated May 4, 2021, Mr. Malami argued that insecurity across Nigeria has reached a level that could no longer be conchecked by existing democratic techniques. Now we have to use martial law then. President Mohamed Buhari, in, his, in, the, in the process of declaring a state of emergency across the Federal Republic of Nigeria, People's Gazette reported, based on this secret memo and official accounts, that the administration scrambles to waggle its way out of acute insecurity and the encumbrances of constitutional provisions. Attorney General Abubakar Malami has already written lengthy legal advice to the Nigerian president, try urging him to move swiftly, swiftly to suspend fundamental rights of all Nigerians as guaranteed under Chapter 4 of the Constitution. In the eight-page secret memo, Mr. Malami told Mr. Buhari that insecurity across Nigeria has reached a level that could no longer be checked by existing democratic techniques, saying only a set of emergency promulgated by the president can help return the country to tranquility. The essence of, declar the, of the declaration is to allow the suspension of constitutional and legal bureaucratic bottlenecks pertaining to matters of national security with particular regards to fundamental rights guaranteed under Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution and processes and procedures relating to procurements, among others, the Attorney General has said. Meanwhile, this 1999 Constitution is being reviewed. There are conferences going on in different parts of Nigeria to take bits and pieces out of it and to add what is needed to be added. The Malami is already suggesting that it should be suspended entirely and we will be ruled by martial law. That is military decrees and autocracy. Mr. Malami said the president should issue instruments of emergency and publish them in the Federal Gazette. Senate President Ahmed Lawan and Speaker Femi Biamila will be informed about the decision ahead of implementation, he said. To douse probable legal tension, it is important for the proclamation instrument of the statement of emergency to expressly provide for the suspension of Chapter 4 of the 1999 Constitution and its attendant enforcement rules, Mr. Malami wrote. The suspension of rights pertaining to matters of national security will then give legal backing for the proclamation of the statement of emergency to be operated and effective without litigious and judicial instructions. In the early pages of the document, Mr. Malami cited widespread acts of insecurity and blamed prominent separatist agitators like Sunday Boho and the Nam the Kano, the usual black goats, <laughs> for fueling the protracted crisis that has enveloped the country and aggravated the social and economic conditions of Nigeria, minus Boko Haram, minus the bandits, minus Iswa. The problem in Nigeria is only caused by Mazin Nam de Kano and Sunday Iboho. The northern part of Nigeria that is using arms and causing all the confusion in Nigeria have not con contributed to insecurity. That's Malami for you. The memo was endorsed to the president by National Security Advisor Bagana Mungunu, here they come again. <laughs> the one that was pointed fingers at by the late Gulag in a video that has gone viral. And the administration officials advised on how to proceed with the advice. Clearly, 
different factions of our government have different positions on this alarming proposal, a presidency official told the Gazette. But everyone agrees that the AGF holds powerful sway over the president, and it will be a miracle if the constitution is not suspended as he recommended. Another official, also within the presidency, who confirmed hearing about the memo but had not seen it before they were reached by the Gazette, said Mr. Buhari might have little resistance considering the potency of Malami's argument. The president is just saying they should act in the best interest of the country, the official said, even as the president he seemed to have given up on his own ability to get the AGF to back down. Multiple constitutional scholars and practitioners who analyzed the memo for the Gazette said it was essentially a suspension of the Nigerian constitution and declaration of martial law since chapter 4 dealt with fundamental human rights, absence of which there cannot be a democratic system. The analysts acknowledge the powers of the president to issue a state of emergency under Section 305 of the Constitution, they say the powers are not absolute and do not include outright suspension of Chapter 4. While Section 305 said the President can declare a national emergency to curb criminalities, it did not expressly permit suspension of Chapter 4, which analysts describe as the most important section of the Constitution. Well, this. Um, the gist of the whole thing, Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation, the one who couldn't define why Shoure was arrested and accused for, um, uh, they usually say in Nigeria that you have sinned against the state. And um, they arrested Mal uh, Shoure, charged him based on that uh, law, rule, and they asked uh, Malami to explain what it means. And he was going round and round and round, like the aeroplane tunnel that you have as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. <laughs> That's how they roll. Anyway, you have had it. Buhari is going to suspend the constitution and then rule by martial law, basically turning himself into a general again and ruling with decrees, like in a military regime. That's where we found ourselves. And uh, let's see what is going to happen, because uh, we understand that um, probably Malami is one of the people running the organization in Nigeria called the presidency. And his opinion weighs heavily. It looks like nobody can dispute what he says. Please, meet us at the comment section and tell us what you think about this uh, news piece. We invite you to subscribe as we are looking to quickly build up a, subscri a subscriber base as we are a new channel. Your help is highly needed. Kindly also press the notification bell so that when we publish any news, we will come to you directly and we will bring you further updates on this um, Suggestion by Mal and me as it comes along. We are watching and see to see what's going to happen. Also, give us a, th a thumbs up if you like our news. Thank you for listening and be blessed.